Welcome, my name is Brian Henry, and this learning module will cover the unauthorized practice of law. As you know, the unauthorized practice of law is prohibited by the rules of professional conduct for lawyers. This module will provide more explanation of those situations that you should avoid in order to comply with this rule. First, explaining your role here at Orleans. Second, making sure that you don't give advice tailored to a specific situation. And third, making, making sure you understand that attorneys should be responsible for drafting legal documents. Let's go to the first area. Making sure that third parties understand your role at Orleans. Often clients, homeowners, or other third parties will contact our office and ask a question. Now, when they ask such a question, they may assume that you're an attorney. They may have uh, not contacted our phone before. They may not really know who you are. So it's important when you're meeting with uh, homeowners, when you're meeting with clients, when you're speaking on the phone, that you introduce yourself and explain who you are, your title, and let them know that you're not an attorney. We don't want you to be put in a situation where someone may say, well, I thought Ms. Smith was an attorney. She gave me advice. I followed it, and it wasn't correct. In another module, we explained that you shouldn't be giving legal advice. So I'll address that now. Legal advice requires the specific knowledge, skill, and training of an attorney, and generally relates to a specific set of facts, involves a statute. So I'll give you some examples of questions that may be asked by either clients or homeowners that you should avoid. For example, a client may say, what are our chances for success at this eviction hearing? Another question might be, what is the impact of a bankruptcy filing on this particular case? A final question from a client might be, what does your state law require in these circumstances? All of those questions require some knowledge of statutes, require legal judgment, and uh, should be answered by an attorney. Now let's go over some examples from homeowners. A homeowner might call or ask, am I able to terminate this lease? Another question might be, should I attend this hearing? Final question would be, I don't really understand this. What does this law mean? Again, all of those questions should be referred to an attorney. Let's go to the final area, preparing documents. Now, we prepare pleadings. Pleadings are those documents that a court receives in order to move uh, a case forward. Things like motions, court orders, complaints, those should all be uh, prepared by an attorney or under the supervision of an attorney. We have many wonderful forms here. For example, a number of our deeds have blanks in them or affidavits. Those can be filled in with homeowner information, but any drafting or modifying anything that requires uh, the legal skill and judgment of an attorney or affects individual rights should be approved by an attorney or drafted by an attorney. So there you have it. You have the three areas that are important in the area of uh, the unauthorized practice of law. First, making sure that uh, all parties know your role here in the law firm. Second, making sure that you're not giving specific advice tailored to a particular situation. And third, that you're not uh, drafting documents that have legal consequences. It's very important that we serve our clients and serve homeowners, but we must do it within the constraints of the unauthorized practice of law principle that's set forth in the rules of professional conduct. Thank you very much for your time today.